You're watching Impulse on the Freedom Network. And now here's Anthony. Thank you, I appreciate you, and I appreciate our audience. Today I wanted to talk to you about this. This is the Turtle Beach XL1 wired headset. I spent about nine, 10 hours on this headset using it, and um, I don't like it, I'll be honest. This headset has very rigid foam around the ears, and it also presents a few other issues when you start connecting it to different kinds of consoles and other things. It's not really what I would think is a high quality headset. The microphone is not nearly as positional as you would assume that it is. It's got an annoying click to it when you move the microphone. And all in all, I just really don't like it. It's made out of cheap plastic and it just, it, 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 it reeks of cheap. The XL1 does include the color green, which is probably messing with our chroma keying. However, I'm trying to keep it as minimized as possible. Um, it's very bright, it, it, the, there are no lights on it, however it does kind of hurt the eyes just to look at it. The green on black, it just doesn't work for this particular headset. It's a mess. Microphone quality on the headset's probably about a four, and that's even already trying to compensate for the fact that it's a headset and not something like a condenser microphone. The padding on the top of the headset is kind of like a gel foam type material, which sounds good to start with, except for it kind of makes your head sweat, and that coupled with the strange padding on the ears just makes it... it it just makes it kind of uncomfortable to use, and it made the whole testing experience. I didn't enjoy it. Turtle Beach, get on your game and make some better headsets. All jokes aside, this headset isn't necessarily so bad once you take the price point into consideration. You can pick these up for like 30, 40 bucks or so. They're not insanely pricey, but they're just not where they need to be for my personal seal approval. This headset does say that it's only compatible with the Xbox 360, however I did get it to work with an Xbox One to a limited capacity, and of course my PC as well, which is one of the reasons why I'm a PC gamer. Everything works! The cord does include the ability to change volume uh, for chat separately from the in-game, which is awesome, but we've come to expect that from Turtle Beach. So it's, I mean, it's a great feature, however it's one that we kind of walked into knowing that we'd have, or at least assuming. If you have any experience with this unit or any like it, let us know in the comment section down below. If you have any thoughts or concerns or questions about the product, let me know. If you have any requests about future things that I should unbox and or review, let us know in the comment section down there. And yeah, till next time, I'm Anthony. Like, subscribe, comments, please. Oh, also, you can always find me at youtube.com slash Anthony Smith. Freedom! You thought it would be Anthony this time. Well, guess what? It's Cousin here to do a review. I'm here to do the review on the Zora 2 headset made by Noontech. Alright guys. Your secrets, if you really look at yourself, you would be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays kids more worried.